not a star. I'm just keys, sharps, and flats. Aw, that's sweet, Frog. But you're just saying that because I feed you. You got an inner fire. Yeah, yeah, he's got an outer Good night, Ruby Sapphire Tiara. Good night, Diamond Amethyst Tiara. Good night, Emerald Tiara. Don't worry, cat. There's plenty of room for you to sleep in my bed. Good night, cat. Huh? Sparkle? As in jewel sparkles? Was that you, cat? <laughs> of course not. That's a pop song. You only sing show tunes. I heard it again. Someone is singing the song about me, which does make sense. But who? All our favorite stars are out tonight. Take a look, Bird. The chocolate Milky Way, the licorice belt, the big sheep constellation. <gasps> Bird, did you see that? I've never seen that galaxy before, and I've looked at this part of the sky a hundred times. Maybe it's in here. Uh, Bird, if you wouldn't mind. Nope, not in here either. She knows me even better than I thought. But who is she? Hi, I'm Jewel Sparkles. I heard your music and I had to. You had to ask me to stop making noise this way. I'm so sorry. I promise it won't happen again. No, no, I love the song. But how do you know so much about me when we've never met? But it's not. You're so talented. You could be a big star. Do you really think so? I've always dreamed of being a singer with my own band, and everyone would know my name. They will know your name. They'll be shouting it. What is your name, anyway? Oh, right. It's Keys, Sharps, and Flats. Keys, Sharps, and Flats? I'm going to make your dream come true. You are? Yes, Keys. You will be a star. Thanks to my gift for spotting talent. My genius for organization, and my tireless determination. And my singing ability? Oh, right, of course, and that too. <sighs> Nothing's going on, Zebra. That's the problem. I've already invited all my friends to my solo art show, but I've got artists' flock. I need to come up with something big. Old, brand new. But for the first time in my life, I'm drawing a blank. <sighs> Unless I call my show dozens of blank canvases. <laughs> oh, you're right, Zebra. I did that already. I need to come up with something else. But what? Yes, maybe I should sleep on it. <laughs> Nope, that didn't help either. I'd better just go to bed. Lucky for you, I just happened to have this clipboard to organize your rise to singing superstardom. That is lucky. So, what's the plan? Step one, rehearse songs with band until they sound really good. Uh, does it count if all group it's along while I play piano? Not quite, but don't worry, we'll adjust. Step zero, find a band. You'll see, Keys. Every musician in La La Lucy Land is going to want the chance to play with you. A musical galaxy? I've never seen anything like it before. Me neither, Bee. I'm hoping you'll have some information about it. 
I've got plenty of books on galaxies. Here we are, galaxies. From asteroids to Venus, the Stargazer's Guide to Galaxies. The musical galaxy's got to be in here somewhere. Yes, I'm sure we'll find it. Nothing. No luck. Oh well. Dot, do you know what this means? I'm going to have to catch more heavy books. <laughs> no, Dot. It means you've discovered a brand new galaxy no one's ever seen before. <laughs> hmm, I don't know why this engine is rattling. Maybe it's the Jigamoo or the Hitchamagum. Please, this is H, who's been kind enough to lend us his garage for our band auditions. The acoustics are excellent. Thanks, Ace. Lots of great bands started as garage bands, and now mine will too. And when they tell the story of how it all began, they'll start with the Jewel Sparkles, who spotted their talent and led them all on the path to stardom. And that path was paved with rubies uh, and... Uh, Jewel? About the band... Oh, yes, the band. Ace, shall I add you to the audition list? Sure, I can tune up an engine, so I'm sure I can carry a tune. When's everyone else coming to audition? I've already spread the word, so they should be lining up any minute. You did hang the audition flyers, didn't you? <laughs> my ladder teacup phase. A fender bender. Stop starlight. Lot. Picture yourself on a rolling green field with cookie paths wandering beneath aqua blue skies. Spot splatter splash. Don't worry, Keys. We'll keep looking. There's nowhere else to look. We've already put audition flyers all over La La Land. I don't understand what went wrong. I planned this so carefully. Maybe I used the wrong clipboard. It's not your fault, Jewel. But thanks for trying to make my dream come true. I guess it'll just have to stay a dream. <laughs> This tree should be full of apple cinnamon syrup. Mmm, I can just taste it now. Can't you, Beaver? <laughs> <laughs> hey, did you hear that, Beaver? There's an echo. That's no echo. I thought I was alone. I'm Forest Evergreens, and this is Beaver. We haven't seen you around here before. I'm Sticks Boom Crash. I just moved here. But if this is your neck of the woods, we can leave. No need to go. There's plenty of room for all of us. Plus, we really like to hear you play. Thanks. That's nice of you. But Turtle and I only play when we're alone. We're not used to company. That's okay. 
We know how you feel. Beaver and I like to be alone in the woods, too. We'll leave you be. Thanks for understanding. But, just in case you might be interested, have you seen these audition flyers for a new band? No thanks. Like I said, we only play when we're alone. I'll bet they can use a drummer as good as you. You think so? I just don't know how it would work since I always play... Alone? Well, maybe you could try playing with the rest of the band. You know, in the same room, at the same time. Hmm, interesting. <laughs> How is that, Tabby? Tabby? Tabby. You know what they say, a messy house is a sign of musical genius. Well, I'm sure somebody says it. Now, we need to keep practicing if we're going to be ready for the band audition. Oh. The audition is now? Are you sure? <laughs> no way has that audition flyer somewhere. Found it, and the audition starts... Three hours ago? Oh no! I hope I didn't miss it! Come on, Tubby! Let's go! There must be other musicians besides you and La La Luxi Land. Doesn't look like it. Try and wait! I'm here! Oh! I believe this is yours? Hi, I'm Strings Chicken Stuff, and this is Tubby. I'm Keys, Crouch, and Flash. This is Duo Sparkles, and this is Frog and Cat. Nice to meet ya. I hope I'm not too late to audition. Let me check. Hmm, 2.30, a week from Wednesday, carry the three. I believe we can squeeze you in. Hi, everybody. Meet Sticks Boom Crash. Hi, Sticks. Thanks for coming. You can sit up right there. Okay, thanks. They look like a band already. This is a song I wrote. I thought maybe we could play it. You got it. Hmm. Let's take it from the top. Because of course we can't take it from the bottom because then the song would be over. I'll stop talking now. creative vision. We'll get this band in shape. I'm sure we will. Thanks, Jewel. Welcome to the band. Yes! Now that there is a band, I know exactly what to call it. The Buttonette. I love it! So now it's time for step two in my plan to make you all stars. Book you on tour. Tour? As in... Singing in front of an audience? I mean, I know I wouldn't be singing behind the audience, because then they'd have to turn around, which would be really awkward. But either way, I don't think I'm ready. Of course you are. I've already mapped it out. You're going to sing from one end of La La Luxi Land to the other. Maybe I get to sing for a few close friends first? Now, Keith, if you want to be a star, you have to think big. You keep practicing. I'm going to ask Spot to design our tour posters. 
We're big stars now, and we're going on tour. Right. And we're going to be performing in front of a big audience, which means we better keep practicing. My best work. Just a minute, Zebra. I'm almost done. Well, it took a while, but I finally have something worth showing. Something original, fresh, and new. <laughs> no! Spot, I need you to design the Butternut Tour posters. Please say you'll do it. You'll do it. I'm, I mean, I'll do it. Happy to help. Thanks. Now, let me explain my idea. I see a night sky full of stars. <laughs> wow, you can see all of that? I must be a better artist than I thought. <laughs> We're here to help you chart the new galaxy, Dot. B, look at all the new stars I found. And more stars are popping up all the time. There are a lot more stars I can't see clearly. I think there are too many lights around here. I know. Tomorrow night, I'll bring my bus and we can take your <laughs> telescope up into the hills. We should be able to see everything from there. Great idea! And we can use my extra giant, super powerful telescope. <laughs> Any minute now, inspiration will strike. Okay, inspiration, here I am. In my house, at my easel, in case you were having trouble finding me. Not bad. I haven't done this before, have I? I know where I got my inspiration. It's the music, Zebra. coming along. Now, everybody get a good night's sleep and let's meet back here first thing tomorrow. As in morning? Hmm, I'll call and see what's keeping her. got a big tour coming up. Hey, wait a minute. I'm in the band. I'm on my way. <laughs> Forgot my guitar. Oh. Found it. Thanks, Tabby. Let's go. Maybe I should just go home. Please. Things will be here any minute. Look what Spawn made. It's our tour poster. These are beautiful. I can't believe we're actually going on a tour. Like a real band. You are a real band. And now I need to find you a real transportation. Step three, find you a tour bus. Hey, where's Strength? I'm here. Ah! I'm okay. <laughs>
Thanks, Forrest. What's this, Jewel? My discovery, the Buttonettes are performing the first concert of their big tour tomorrow night. Their music is so wonderful, it will take your breath away. going so fast, it's hard for us to keep up. I am? Sorry. I was just playing it the way I felt it. Maybe you could slow it down a little? I'll try. As soon as the music starts again, I'll be ready. too fast? No, it's too slow. I'm sure you can find a better drummer who keeps the beat. No, no, Stitch! Please don't go. We need you. Good luck with the tour. What are we going to tell Jewel? She's already set up the tour. We'll be letting down all of La La Lucy Land. <laughs> the music's gone! And so is my idea! My dream's turning into a nightmare. Sorry. So, do you think we should cancel the tour? No, we, we can't do that. I've got to think of a way to bring Stitch back. Hmm. When I need to figure something out, I always think like this. Okay. I've got it! We'll follow Stitch and ask her to come back. Exactly what I was thinking. Too fast, too slow, never know which way to go. Speed it up, slow it down, never know what's going down. Thanks, Dick, but you'll need to tap a little harder if you want to get some syrup. Sorry, Forrest. What are you doing out here? I thought you were rehearsing with the band. I'm not cut out for playing in a band. I play to the music in my own head, which apparently isn't the same music the rest of the band wants to play. I know how you feel, Sticks. You like being on your own, doing whatever you want, whenever you want. Beaver and I like that, too. That's exactly how I feel. But it also feels nice to be a part of something bigger. Very much, Six. I'm sorry if I upset you before. I love the way you play drums. Me too. Your beat can't be beat. It's just that when you're playing with a band, everyone tries to play at the same time. I wouldn't know. I've never played with anyone else before. I only ever played by myself too, before I met you and Sting. But when we all combined our instruments and our sounds, I think we sounded even better together. Starting over, one more time. Doesn't have to be an uphill climb. Just pull it up and make it right, and we will shine up through the kind of good when we play together. So, what do you think, Stix? Will you come back and play with the band? We can't do it without you. I guess I'll give it another shot. 
and we couldn't have done it without you either. Thanks, Boris. the concert. It's not for the concert. Dot and I have been discovering new musical constellations the past few days, and we want to chart them all. I hope it's okay if we come along for the ride, Jewel. There's plenty of room for everybody. Is there room for me, too? I need to stick close to the music for artistic inspiration. Uh, sure, Spot. Welcome aboard. And you'll need Monkey and me to help set up the equipment for each concert. <laughs> I guess we will. Wow, our very own tour bus. It just needs a little makeover. We have a long way to go, but here's a plus. There's room on the bus for all of us. So have fun. Let's 
have full houses at every stop on the tour. Everyone is coming to hear you sing. Everyone? You know, not everyone has to come. I'm sure they must have more important things to do. Like taking a bath, a healthy brisk walk, or just stopping to smell the butterflies. Huh? Uh, Jewel? Uh, could I talk to you for a second? Sure. There's probably one thing I should have mentioned before we got on the bus. What's wrong? Sore throat? Bus sick? Homesick? Whatever it is, Steve, I know you'll come through. I'm counting on you. You know what, Jewel? It's nothing. Sorry to bother you. I couldn't tell her, Frog, but I'm really scared. I've never sung in front of an audience before. What if they don't like my songs? Or what if I forget the words? Or the music? It would be so embarrassing with everybody watching. <laughs> Well, did anybody come to hear us play? Don't tell me. They overslept and missed it. Happens to me all the time. Look for yourselves. We're a hit already. We really are going to be stars. What's the matter, Keith? Well, Jewel, I couldn't tell you before, but I just wanted to... To thank me for all I've done to make you a star? No need. Now, go out there and make me proud! I am proud to present the brightest stars in all of La La Lucy Land. So please put your hands together. Or whatever you might have for the button net. <laughs> There they are! I must have been dreaming to think that one day I'd be a star and that everyone would know my name. Jeez! <sighs> there you are! What happened? Yeah, why did you run away? Please come back, Keith. Everybody's waiting. I can't face them again. Not after I made a fool of myself. You didn't make a fool of yourself. You had stage fright. And it was just one performance. There's plenty more stops on our tour. I'm sorry. I just can't face such a big crowd. But that shouldn't stop you. You can still tour without me. We're not a band without you. You're such a big part of our show. Better together. Isn't that what you said? But I can't do it. I'm sorry. But next, when are you going to start playing again? I need your music to inspire my artwork. <gasps> oh, I'm so glad we found you. Without your music, we'll never finish discovering the new galaxy. You see how important your music is to all of us? I just wish you could see what we see. You've got so much talent. And you're the heart and soul of this band. When I look at you, I see So much possibility Forget your doubts to set them free, your future's bright, I guarantee. If you believe in you, like I believe in you, you know you have the power to make your dreams come. Play your song, I hear Heavenly harmony so crystal clear 
please don't give up, don't disappear, we're counting on you to see it through. If you believe in you, like I believe in you, you know. tomorrow, so let's get this show back on the road. Huh? What was that? Ugh, sounded like the engine. If we go any slower, we're going to be late for the concert. I'm trying to go faster, but the bus isn't cooperating. It's no good. We must have overloaded the bus. Then that's right in the low. Hey, those are my tiara polishes. I need them all. Okay, how about we get rid of this? I need that for paper mache. No need to get rid of anything just yet. Monkey and I will take a look under the hood. <laughs> well, huh, looks like the muchy doodle's not flibbering. There's nothing I can do. But the show's starting in just a few minutes. The audience must be there by now. They're not going to stick around very long if there's no band. <sighs> Sorry. So, what do we do now? Maybe somebody will drive past him and give us a ride. Okay, maybe not. I should have brought my emergency clipboard, which would have directed me to panic. There has to be a way to fix it. We've come too far to stop here, and we're so close. I've got an idea! Ready, B? Ready! Okay, everybody, plow it! I need to call Mittens, Crumbs, and Peanuts to make sure they're on their way to the big performance. Ready? <clears throat> Ready. Do you need a glass of water? Another pep talk? Anything? Let's do this. Ah! 